If you're into stargazing or just love a good celestial show, you'll definitely want to know about the Eta Aquarid Meteor Shower. It's one of the more reliable and beautiful meteor showers of the year. The Eta Aquarids will be active from around April 15th to May 27th this year, but the best time to watch is during the early mornings of May 5th and May 6th, 2025. Now, different experts give slightly different predictions for the exact peak. Some say May 5th, others say May 6th, but the good news is, the peak is spread out over several days. Timing-wise, you'll want to get outside in the hours just before dawn. That's when the radiant, basically the point in the sky where the meteors appear to come from, rises and reaches its highest point. It's near the star Eta Aquarii, in the constellation Aquarius, which is why the shower is called the Eta Aquarids. Now, the radiant doesn't mean the meteors only appear there, they actually streak across the whole sky, but the higher that radiant is, the more meteors you're likely to see, and just before dawn is your best bet. The first quarter moon happens on May 4th, which means by the peak mornings, you'll have darker skies when you really need them. Perfect for spotting more meteors. Under ideal conditions, no clouds, no city lights, and the radiant high up, you might see up to 60 meteors an hour. But there's a catch. This shower is much better viewed from the southern hemisphere or southern parts of the U.S. That's because, during spring in the northern hemisphere, the radiant stays pretty low in the sky. So if you're watching from farther north, you might not catch quite as many, but even a few bright meteors streaking through a quiet pre-dawn sky. Let's talk a bit more about that radiant. If you're a stargazer who likes to know what you're looking at, try finding that little Y-shaped pattern of stars. The radiant sits near Eta Aquarii, which is about 170 light years away. Of course, the meteors themselves are much closer, burning up about 60 miles above Earth's surface. Still, it's a cool coincidence that we can trace their paths back to a star so far away. If you're new to meteor watching, don't worry. There's no fancy equipment needed. No telescopes, no binoculars, just your eyes, and maybe a reclining chair so you don't get a sore neck. Find the darkest spot you can, away from city lights. It might take your eyes about 20 minutes to adjust to the dark, so be patient. Now, you might be wondering where all these meteors actually come from. The answer is Halley's Comet. The Eta Aquarids are leftovers from that famous comet. As Halley's Comet travels around the sun, it leaves a trail of dust and debris behind. When Earth crosses that trail each year in May, those little bits of space rock enter our atmosphere and burn up, creating the meteor shower we're talking about. Halley's Comet itself only comes close to Earth once every 76 years or so. The last time it swung by was in 1986. Maybe some of you remember seeing it then. It's currently on its way back toward the sun, moving at around 0.6 miles per second. So mark your calendar, set your alarm, and maybe prep some midnight snacks. The Eta Aquarid meteor shower is coming, and whether you see one shooting star or 60, it's definitely worth looking up.